Hello everyone. Welcome to Power Electronics lecture series. In today's video, we're going to take a look at rectifiers and we will also be taking a look at classification of rectifiers. So let's get started. At the first place, we need to understand what is a rectifier circuit, isn't it? These are basically static power electronic circuit which converts fixed AC input signal to pulsating DC output. So what I'm trying to say is, if you have an AC supply and you want a DC output across the load terminals, you need to have a rectifier in between in order to achieve conversion of AC to DC output. And these type of circuits are called as rectifiers. I hope this point is clear. So basically, if you have an input signal which is sinusoidal in nature, you need to get the output across the load to be in this particular fashion, pure DC. But in most of the cases, we will not be getting pure DC and there needs to be certain arrangements that needs to be made so that we will be getting pure DC signal. So fundamentally, you need to understand rectifiers are circuits that are used to convert AC to DC. Now, having seen what rectifier is all about, we need to understand classification of rectifiers because in today's world, there are a lot of configurations available with respect to rectifiers. So fundamentally, rectifiers are classified into controlled rectifiers and uncontrolled rectifiers. When I say the word uncontrolled rectifier, that clearly means we do not have control over the circuit. That means we will be using diodes. When I say the word control rectifiers, that means we will be able to control this particular circuit in terms of output voltage, average voltage, RMS value of output voltage, and a lot of other parameters through SCRs or thyristors. So we will be using thyristors uh, popularly and with the help of gate terminal, we will be able to control the angle in which the thyristor has to turn on. So that is why you call it as control rectifiers, which we will be taking a look in detail in the future videos. Uncontrolled rectifiers are further classified into single phase and three phase. And in single phase, you have single phase half wave rectifier, single phase full wave rectifier, Single phase half wave rectifier basically uses one diode and single phase full wave rectifier basically with respect to the type of configuration it uses two or four diodes together. So we have midpoint type and we have bridge type respectively. And in three phase you have three phase half wave rectifier and you have three phase full wave rectifier. In three phase half wave rectifier we will be using three thyristors or SCRs and in three phase full wave rectifier we will be using six thyristors. In control rectifier, again in three phase full wave rectifier, we have two classification that is midpoint type and bridge type. This will be common to all the full type full wave rectifier configurations. In control rectifier, again you have single phase and three phase classification. And in single phase, you have single phase half wave control rectifier. Basically, you will be using one SCR over here. There you had used one diode over here, one SCR. In single phase control rectifier classification, you have single phase full wave control rectifier. And again, you have midpoint type and bridge type configurations available. In three phase, again, you have three phase half wave control rectifier, which uses three thyristors, and three phase full wave control rectifier, which uses six thyristors. So you also have midpoint type and bridge type in three phase full wave control rectifier. In addition to all these configuration, you have certain other configurations as well with respect to control rectifiers that is single phase semi converter or you can also call it as single phase half control rectifier and you also have three phase semi converter or three phase half control rectifier you also have dual converter half controlled in the sense we will be able to control only specific thyristors so you will basically have four components isn't it in case you have four components two thyristors and two diodes will be used instead of four thyristors. Again, in three phase semi converter, we will be similarly be having the same type of configuration. And finally, we will be looking at dual converter as well. So these are the classifications with respect to rectifier. And we will be looking at each one of these slowly. We will be starting off with uncontrolled rectifiers and gradually we will be focusing with respect to control rectifiers, which is the area of importance that we are supposed to look at. I hope this video gave you a clear understanding of what rectifiers are and what is the classification of rectifiers. In case you have any questions with respect to this video, feel free to reach out by typing in your questions in the comment section below. Thanks for watching. Keep supporting. Thank you.